Hello watchers and subscribers, this is again Shrakes from SmartHerd. Welcome to 63rd Ruby Tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about formatting times and dates. How to write user defined times and date in your own style. Now let's move forward. This is a part 4 tutorial guys. Now earlier we used these syntax and the output were as simple as by default the interpreter will give us like this 2001 month date time and time zone like this similarly in case of date class also we were getting the simple output now what if if you want the output like this year month day like this 2001 march 4th then time is this with am or pm evening or morning like this and also time zone in this way and also you have to print either this date is wednesday or thursday or sunday or and also in case of date you can also print like this year is this month is march day is fourth and either it is whether it is wednesday sunday like this now in order to get these types of output the concept of formatting time and date comes into existence now let's move forward now these are the few directives that will help you to print the date and time in a way you want suppose we have to print the output like this year 1993 month march day 4 time is this time zone is this and this date is actually wednesday so how to print this for that you have to use this syntax first you have to initialize the time object like this time object equal to time dot new blah 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 whatever all the specification you have to give here all the parameters are here now after that you have to write oops one message has come okay let's not get distracted now here you have to write put as time dot strf time this is the syntax you have to follow in order to print the output like this after that year percentile y month percentile m day percentile d time like this and this percentile p is going to print what whether it is am or pm now for time zone you have to write percentile z and for this wednesday you have to write percentile capital a suppose you just want to print wed wed for wednesday then you have to follow this percentile small a this will give you what abbreviation of the weekday name suppose it is sunday then it will give you sun and here it will give what wed wed like this now for month also for full january you have to write percentile capital b and for small jan you have to write percentile small b now percentile d percentile h for 24 hour clock percentile i for what 12 hour clock like this percentile j day of the year that is which day this date belong to this 4th march now then 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 now let's come to this portion actually percentile w will give you what 0 for sunday and for wednesday it will give you what 0 1 2 3 for wednesday it will give output 3 it is the third day of the week starting from 0 ending at 6 like this now percentile x will give you what it will give you the date in this format without time 040393 4th march 93 and it won't give you the full year also it will just give you the century name that is 93 now percentile capital x it will give you the time in this format and percentile small y it will give you 93 and percentile capital y it will give you 1993 like this so these directives are quite important guys you have to learn it or make a note of it no props or just save this tutorial in your lappy and refer it when you make any application now let's move forward let me show you a few more concepts yeah now percentile capital b gives you what actually january full month name january now if you want all the january characters as a uppercase january like this so you have to add percentile this symbol caret sign and then followed by capital b it will give you january in full uppercase like this now similarly 
if you want an abbreviation to be all caps then you have to write what percentile cap caret sign then small b like this now these are few simple stuff guys like zero padded if you want the month to be 010203 like this you have to write what you just have to write percentile m and if you don't want this zero here zero padding here then you just have to write percentile dash m or underscore m like this quite simple guys you can go through this if you want to nothing but important so I'm not going to show you the codes of this tutorial guys because these are quite simple and basic things. Hope you guys understood the concept of string formatting of date and time. So meanwhile if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel this is Shrakes from Smartherd signing off and do share my video. Thank you.